Valentine's Day. What better to make on Valentine's Day than brownies for your loved one or for just yourself if your loved one went off with another boy to Australia, or rather four boys. Um, I'm alone and I'm sad. But to make myself feel better, we're making brownies. <laughs> And by brownies, I mean one pan of one brownie that I'm going to eat all by myself. <laughs> it's okay, I've been eating salad, it's fine. I can afford to have a one very, very large brownie. So first things first, we're gonna preheat our oven to 325 degrees. After that, we're gonna grease and line our baking dish. The recipe calls for an eight by eight. This is totally a recipe that I've definitely absolutely made before and I'm not just like making for the first time ever on camera, because why would I do that? Why, why would I do that? So anyway, before I lay down the parchment paper, I'm just gonna give this a little, a little rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Give the tub a little rub-a-dub-dub. Because -dub -dub. you want it to be evenly coated, not like doused in oil. Okay, so we are going to line this. It's not working. What if I trim it some? I'm at the end of the roll of parchment paper and it's making things very, very difficult. Okay, Bish, I swear to God, you better stay. Do not make me pull out my Glock. It's fine. Okay, now we're gonna spray the parchment paper. Ooh, that was a little squirt, not a spray, my guy. Oh my God, it's not cooperating. If anyone's got any life hacks on how to make parchment paper cooperate, I'm all ears. Okay, you chill the f out acting up for no f reason. So now that we've lined our baking dish, it's time to assemble our ingredients. First things first, we're gonna get our dry ingredients together. We've got all purpose flour granulated sugar, powdered sugar, some salt, some cocoa powder, and some dark chocolate chips, which I have right here. Ding. All right, first things first, we're gonna do three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour. You're gonna wanna do all-purpose because you're not making bread. That's just the skinny of it. All right, one. Two. This is also a recipe that does not have weight measurements. It only has cup measurements, and we all know how that makes me feel. Definitely not warm and gooey inside like a brownie is supposed to feel. You know what I mean? Sifting flour, yas. Next, we're gonna add the sugar. Now this recipe calls for a cup and a half of granulated sugar and then even more powdered sugar. But that just sounds like a lot of sugar to me. And I was reading through the comments of this blog that I totally didn't steal this recipe from, who totally also did not steal this recipe from a cookbook, so very original. Um, You interrupted my recording, Ollie. <laughs> That's funny. You had me thinking it was something important. I was like, Ollie never calls me. Is he gonna be like, is this bitch serious? Is she seriously switching up these videos on me right now? Yes, yes I am. I'm sorry. So I was reading through the comments, blah, 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 blog, and etc. And a lot of people were saying that they dialed back on the sugar and the brownies came out just fine. So I'm probably gonna do that same thing. You see what I'm saying? You smell what I'm stepping in? You taste what I'm serving? You feel me, dog? Okay. A whole ass. <gasps> oh my god. If you... <laughs> that was like the most annoying if you I've ever said in my life. <laughs> oh my god. I'm such a white girl. It's, uh, you know. If you live in a metric country, which is literally any other country than the United States, and you don't know what a cup looks like, you're about to find out that it's a f ton. This is a whole, that's, that's a lot. Okay, that's, that is, that is a lot of sugar. And these are all the 
the big chunks. Whatever doesn't go through that, I am going to actually throw away. So we did a cup of granulated sugar. Now we're going to do, I believe, a half a cup. Yes. Then we're going to do half a cup of confectioner's sugar or powdered sugar, depending on where you live and what it's called. It's the same thing. Powdered sugar is essentially just like sugar, very fine sugar mixed with cornstarch. So it has some extra binding properties. Give that a little smackerdoodle. Since I can't smack anyone's butt this Valentine's Day, smack your sifter, you know? It's firm. It's, it's not the same. Okay, I'm gonna smoosh that in here with my measuring cup. And we're gonna do, so that was a quarter cup. We're gonna do one more quarter cup for a total of one half cup. So what do you like to do or receive for Valentine's Day? If you're in a relationship, even if you're not in a relationship, what would you like for Valentine's Day? These brownies? Something else. If you are into the partaking of recreational oregano for um, censored YouTube terminology, uh, you could infuse the olive oil that we are going to be putting into these brownies with said recreational oregano. You wanna know how to do that? Hmm? I'll put a little link for you in the description. There's a video that I watched that teaches you how to infuse oil with said oregano. You could also just make like a big batch and then stick the brownies in the freezer and then just like pull them out when you want one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oven's ready. Next we have two thirds cup of cocoa powder. You can use whatever cocoa powder you can get your grubby little fingers on. This one is super lumpy. And uh, yeah, you need two thirds cup, which I have this very <laughs> actually cracked, cracked at baking my guy cup. Um, so we'll see how this turns out. <laughs> it might just slip through the cracks <gasps> or it may just be fine. Who knows? Who knows anymore? Am I fine? Who knows? Ooh, one third. I don't know why I was making special effects noises. I'm sorry. I'm very bored and I'm very lonely. Someone send help. And the other third of cup. The other third, third cup. Third of, of a, of a cup. Anyway. Three quarters teaspoon of salt. One, a two. Oh, that's a lump. We don't want lumpy clumps. Three. Okay, there's the three quarter teaspoons of salt. And that's all she wrote. Let's just give this a little sifty do, a little swirly do dad, a mix. That's the word I'm looking for. Making sure to get this as even as possible. So Gabby, you may be wondering, how do you make super fudgy brownies? And how do you make like cakey chewier brownies? What's the difference? I don't know. Well, it simply comes down to the ratio of fat to flour and sugar. The more fat you have, the more ooey gooey chocolatey delicious it's gonna be. The less fat you have, the more cake-like it's gonna be. I've also seen that butter kind of like tends to aerate the mix a little bit more, maybe leading to a more cakey texture, but we're using oil, so that should help make it like real fudgy and nice. But this recipe is like a fudgy brownie recipe. If you want something a little more cakey, then add like maybe another two tablespoons of flour or cut back on the oil a little bit. Also, a secret to making like super fudgy boxed brownies that someone told me once a long time ago was to add two tablespoons of mayonnaise to the mixture. Now I know a lot of you might think, ew, that's gross, but really mayo is just like egg and oil emulsified. It's science. 
Isn't that cool? You're already putting that stuff in your brownie. You're just like putting more of it in a different form. It's not gross. I've tried it before and it works. Life hack. There you go. All right, so now that we've got that done, we're gonna move on to our wet ingredients. We're gonna do two eggs in this here bowl and I'm cracking the eggs first so that just in case any little shells fall in there, I can pick them out now before I got all the other goods in there. How embarrassing would that be? <laughs> Next, we're gonna do half a cup of, the recipe calls for canola oil, but I, don't like to use canola oil if I can help it. I just, I have olive oil on hand, so that's what I'm gonna use. Now, I don't have like a liquid measuring cup, but I do have a mason jar that has measurements on it. So that's what we're gonna use. Let's see if I have enough from this here. Okay, that's just a tad over, but that's fine. It'll just be extra fudgy, ooey gooey, yummy, delicious. Yum! Yeah. <laughs> and then we're gonna add two tablespoons of water. Right there. And one teaspoon of vanilla. <laughs> Open sesame, bitch. Run. Ooh. All right, and those are all the dry ingredients. So now we're gonna whisk them together, being careful not to splash over the edge. Probably should have gotten a slightly bigger bowl so that I could mix better, but eh, it'll come together. So even though my husband left me alone for Valentine's Day, he sent me some nice flowers over there. Do you like them? I think they're really pretty. I got them and I cried like a little bitch. Then we're gonna add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients. FYI, it doesn't really matter in which order you add your ingredients, dry to wet or wet to dry, but you will make less of a mess if you add wet to dry because then you're not making all your flour and powdered sugar go poof all over the place as it goes from one bowl to the next. But you know, it's whatever. It is not a big deal. So you're going to whisk, whisk and combine. Oh, whoa, we've got a jumper. Oh, this is very thick batter. Very thick. My gosh. <laughs> you see the whisk bending? Like it cannot, it cannot keep up. <laughs> Oh, poor thing. I hope I don't break it. I just got this thing. That is thick. <laughs> Time for the taste test. But Gabby, there's egg in there. Don't do it. I don't care if I die. Hmm. Okay, I see. You probably could add the extra half a cup of sugar that the recipe calls for. If you like a sweeter brownie, just taste it. Taste it and see what does your heart desire? Does it want more sugar? Then give it more sugar. But if it's like, this is fine, then that's fine. All right, last order of business, we're gonna add our half a cup of chocolate chips. Now somebody who is a very nice person in the comment section told me that if I covered the chocolate chips with flour that they wouldn't sink to the bottom. But I think for this, because the batter is so thick to begin with, I'm not really that worried about it. But I think for the pancakes that I showed you guys how to make before, you could do that and it would help. But see, like, look at that. They're not going anywhere. <laughs> they are not moving. They are staying stationary. So we're just gonna mix these in. Gonna fold them into the batter. Just do a little tuck and fold. Nice little whoosh. And another little whoosh. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. Now we have our greased up pan. That's with the parchment paper that's not cooperating. It's fine. All right, just drip that in the pan. All right, now we're just gonna spread it around. So I saw some notes about this recipe too, that if you have a nine by nine, your brownies will overbake. 
So yes, size does matter in this circumstance. Get an eight by eight or some sort of equivalent. Maybe you have an oval dish that roughly comes out to the same like volume of an eight by eight. I don't know, just to see. But if all you have is a nine by nine, you could try it. I would maybe just take like 10 minutes or so off of the cook time for the recipe. Maybe 15, do 15 minutes and then check it and then see if you wanna put it in for another five minutes, maybe. That looks even enough to me. I don't think there's any way I'm not gonna get that little lip. It's fine. Yeah, that shit ain't going nowhere. That is sludge. That is sludge, my guy. That ain't going nowhere. All right. Instructions say to bake for 40 to 48 minutes or until you insert a toothpick and only a few crumbs pull out. Though I've tried to make brownies before and if you try to do like the toothpick test, you might be trying to get it so that it's like clean on the pull out. <laughs> but you know, if you want your brownies to be ooey gooey and delicious, it's not gonna f be clean. Like it, it doesn't make any sense. So anyway, I'm just gonna bake it for 40 minutes and see what happens. Let's go. Into the oven you go. Oh my God, would you look at that? <laughs> it's ready. Ooh, look at that. Wow, it looks so pretty. Mmm, I wanna touch it. Nice and firm to the touch on top. Let me see if I can locate a toothpick. No toothpick, but I do have a giant skewer, which is good enough. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. Oh, pretty clean on the pullout. Not too shabby. All right, now I'm gonna try something. I bought this really like fancy French salt. It's supposed to be good for finishing brownies and such. So I think I'm just gonna grab a little pinch and do like a little sprinkly doodad on top. Like my very scientific terms. Little sprinkly doodad. Okay, that looks good. So uh, we gotta let it cool for a couple hours. Apparently it's supposed to be nice and fudgy on the inside. I really, really hope it is because I love a fudgy brownie. Hmm. Okay. Ugh. I don't want to wait. So it's been an hour and a half. I've had a salad. I'm starving. I just, I, I just want to, I want to dig in. I know I'm not supposed to, but look at it. It's still like warm to the touch but it's got that nice little crackly kind of crispity crunch crust going on. You see that? Oh, it looks so good. Well, I've got my handy dandy little mini spatula and I'm just gonna cut in. Let's see how it turned out. If this isn't ooey gooey, I'm gonna be pissed. Well, I'm seeing some, oh, you see that? A little bit of liquid chocolate. I'm sure some of the uh, chocolate chips are a little melty yet, but like nobody wants to wait for the brownies to be cold. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, look at that. Look at how moist, how nice and oh, like fudgy looking that is. Mm. Oh my God, I wanna smell it. Oh. Okay, taste test, are we ready? <laughs> it's perfect. I'm so happy. I'm just gonna go cry now. Look at how happy I am with my brownie. Mm. Who needs people when you have food? Am I right? So if you're alone this Valentine's Day, make sure you make this and you'll be happy too. Anyway, if you liked this video, please subscribe, please like, leave a comment. Tell me what you're doing this Valentine's Day. Or who, if anybody, you never know. <laughs> Tell me if you made happy brownies or recreational brownies, as I like to call them. Let me know in the comments if there's anything you'd like me to make for future videos. 
I'm open to suggestions, but thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. This is amazing. Mm. What the f-